Is this not the cutest, like, cushion ever? Adorable, adorable. So Claire's, I, I should have done this earlier, I don't know why it took me this long. But Claire's um, collaborated with this um, dating app called Between. Um, Between is kind of like, it's kind of a cop out talk, but it's meant for like only couples. And they have this cute little character that would be this. So yeah, I was thinking that this sort of collaboration sounded really like, gimmicky in a way to me like oh they're just trying to use like two characters to like you know and like make up and i don't know but apparently it's like number it was like number one cushion in korea for a bit um it's still like top three right now i knew i had to hop in that shit and also the concept behind the cushion was like really unique comes in one shade this is i don't even think it has a name it's just one shade um which is unfortunate how much spf does this have it doesn't even say how much spf it has the mirror is kind of small, like not, like I like the ones that have like, that are larger around. Adorable, adorable little puff right here with like, it looks like you're squishing his face. <laughs> the packaging you can already see is very, very unique. You get like this twist top that helps, I guess, with like um, bacteria and like keeping the air out of the product, which is a good thing, I guess. So you can keep it airtight. It's like a mesh thing. And then you have your product here. Ugh. Apparently you can use this in three different ways depending on how much coverage you want. If you just use it just as it is like right now then apparently that's just for hydration. The coverage I'm not sure is really there. I'm scared. So according to the site, the color is an apricot beige tone that complements both the yellow and red skin in a natural way. Um, and it neutralizes the redness of the skin for a comfortable and healthy look while color correcting and brightening dull, discolored skin. So I can tell immediately, this is a pretty decent color. When I first, first put it on, like as it hits the skin, I'm like, oh my god, it's too pink. But now that I'm looking at it, it looks decent. As I would imagine, the coverage is whatever. But then again, there's like not much to cover on my forehead. I my forehead I put foundation on there to even out because my forehead is much much tanner than the rest of my face, so I have a bit of discoloration there in that aspect. I guess it feels like it doesn't feel dry or anything. It does claim to have a refreshing finish like a powder though, and it's supposed to control oily skin but provide moisture. I don't know. So there it is on my forehead, just like as it is. Now the second way that you can use it is if you take a spatula and you like push it in there for about a minute or so. Um, you're supposed to get a little more coverage with glow. So I'm supposed to just push into here for a good minute. Oh, can you see that? It's starting to absorb the sponge. Or the sponge is absorbing the product, sorry. Okay, let me just try doing this way because I feel like if it's just in the middle... Yeah, it's really starting to come out now. As you can see. I don't want to waste any product, so I'm gonna... Kind of smooth that back in there. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again, but the second method. Maybe this side, because it needs a little less coverage. Definitely more coverage than like than if I put it here, but to, like to be honest, I can't really tell that much of a difference, but it seems as though there's a bit more coverage than the first method. And I mean, it's not glowing some, like, something like the Innisfree Ampule Intense, or it's not like, oh, I just put on like mist or skincare kind of glow. There's a bit of a sheen to the skin. Like, it doesn't look like, it's not matte. It's not completely matte. And the color is really good. It's a quite brightening color, but it's not brightening in the sense that like, oh, that bitch wore too much sunscreen. You know what I mean? It's like the description says it has that brightening effect while it conceals redness. And I can see that it's really adhering to the skin. It's not like clinging onto any dry patches or anything. A problem I tend to have around my nose. Of course, not doing much for my dark circle because I need to color correct that. It's just making it look grayish in a way, but. I, can use, I usually use concealer for that anyway. So here's one side. Here's without. Now, for the third method, apparently you're supposed to get like really good coverage with more of a matte finish. You're supposed to open this up and take out the ring, it says? 
Ah, you kind of pull in here and pull out this ring. So, so basically just flip it out. Oh my god, I hate doing this because I know I'm wasting product. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We did it. It went better than expected. Okay. That's, oh my god, that's like literally where the product is, so... We're all gonna get that full, full coverage. But hopefully... It will still remain natural looking, even despite the full coverage. I feel like these days with makeup, we have the technology to make makeup like that, because there is makeup like that already. But hopefully, this product will give us that look. A little circle there. Oh my god. So you're straight up getting product from like the very bottom where the product was originally at. Like, I need to be like careful. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, alright, this side. Okay. Oh. Okay, I definitely see how it's more of a matte finish. Definitely more matte looking. But you know what? This is just a first impression as soon as I am, you know, putting it on my skin. You know the look you get after you put HD powder on your face? After, you know, you know when you set your makeup with HD powder? It's like that soft, focused, blurred pores and lines. That's kind of the look that I'm already getting from just putting this on alone. I'm kind of living for it. Not many cushions do that. A lot of them have like glow to it or whatever. Of course, you all know I love glow. Glow is nice, but it can accentuate texture on the skin. Which is a thing that I have a lot of. This one, because it's more of like a matte-ish finish, it's like baby soft looking skin. I'm gonna say this now before I forget, but um, this is method one, two, three. This one says it provides full cover, uh, full hydration, but I don't see that much of glow. If anything, it's kind of the same as this side, the second method, but and then again, it didn't say that it was going to be glow. It just says it gives you hydration. I mean, it just feels like- I mean, I put a lot of moisturizer on today, so I don't know if that really- I don't know. If you have dry skin, you probably might notice a big difference, but, um, I mean, it feels- it feels hydrated, but it's not, you know, I'm not under the impression that, like, oh my god, like, full moisture, like, my skin is drinking it right up, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, definitely the third method is probably my favorite so far. But I am a person with oilier skin, so of course I'm gonna like that. I'm adding a little bit more. And I'm building it up, but it's not looking cake here. It definitely, definitely has a soft focus sort of finish. It's really making my skin look um, very soft and velvety and plush. Okay, I'm just gonna add this to the rest of my face because I like the way it looks more. And honestly, the finishes aren't that much different. Like, this glow finish isn't that far off from this matte finish. I have a feeling that um, this is one of those bases that I can probably go on without powder with. And hopefully, hopefully, um, powder type products like blush or um, contour will glide on top of it. Because it claims to last like all day. So we'll see. Oh, I to, you can't forget to close it. Otherwise the cap, the cap won't close. <gasps> I'm just really hoping it doesn't like settle into my... For, you know that light I have here? Y'all are familiar with that. And also my smile line. But of course, you know, we have to do the all day test, so... Yeah. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so I finished my makeup and... I don't know. Uh, oh, I like it. I like the finish. It still looks really cute. Um, but... I guess what I was saying about how, oh, I could do, I definitely think that powders will go... You probably need to set it with a powder to get like a really smooth finish because I still felt like when I was using my powder brush, I kind of had to tap my bronzer and my highlight on because it almost had a bit of like drag to it. But of course, I wasn't surprised by that because I didn't set it with powder. Although it's like <clears throat> as if I had used a powder, the feeling, there's like a bit of tackiness to it. So that's all I have to say. But other than that, I really like it so far. Hoping it doesn't settle into dry patches, lines, all that because my skin's been a little dry lately. We'll see. I'll update you throughout the day. So here's what it looks like in natural daylight. Um, that's really good. Let's just hope this shit lasts all day. Like it claims to. I think that's what it said. It is 354 in the afternoon and so far it's looking absolutely fine. Um, hasn't budged, gotten weird or anything. Um, it looks just like it did when I first applied it. So, so far so good. Um, I just didn't not install what's the word, I just assembled this juice shelf that I got. Five straight points for me. <laughs> Alright, quick update. It's it's five o'clock. 
And I'm about to, I'm not about to go out. I'm leaving soon to go meet my friend, um, and it's just now starting to kind of, like, a, like a tiny, it's like not even worth showing. But I can see my natural oils like kind of coming through here. But really, it's so minute. You probably won't even notice from like over here. Um, but other than that, the foundation looks absolutely fantastic. But then again, I've been like inside all day, so I can't say like if I was in hot weather or if I was in cold weather because I've just been in a neutral environment. But it's really cold outside, so usually that will like fuck it up and make it all look, make it look all dry and patchy. But we'll see. We'll see. Y'all know him. That's Nega Micha Micha Mitsuhide. Right there. Oh. Inside, just here. Hi. Anyway, it's 7:20 in the evening right now, and it did just what I thought it would. We went outside. It wasn't that cold, however. Now it's starting to get like not weird. At, like it still looks good. It looks great, actually. Um, it's getting a little. It's more. Oh my god. It's more definitely on the mattish mattish side still. It's kind of creasing under my eyes a little bit. And here, but like definitely not as much as most foundations do. So I can definitely tell that it's fair. I'm not gonna say like color stay level long wear, but this is definitely like I love it. It looks really, really good. Um, usually by this point. Well, it's like seven hours. It's been like seven hours now. So at this point, most foundations would like fuck up. But this one, so far, love it. I won't, I wouldn't even need to look. Maybe I would just like pat these shits out. <laughs> but other than that, it looks beautiful. Love it. Yokshi, <sighs> passionista, passion one. I go. Okay about it. Okay about it. Okay about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's back home. It is 10:20 in the evening, and it. How long have I had this? Like, like nine hours, I guess. And it's held up really well. Now I did kind of after I uh, recorded that last um, update clip, I touched up under my eyes, and I'm thinking that is not a good idea because it started to really crease under my eyes. Right there, there's some creasing there. I just flipped it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I did lose some coverage in the middle of my face, which I'm not really surprised about, but I like it. I would probably just powder it though um, to like really get that long wear because y'all already know I talk about every video. I love that glow, but I am an oily skin, so if I want to, if I want this to last really long, I'll have to at least set it a little bit with powder down the center. Yeah, it's just a matter of it looking a little bit oily, I guess. Here, my smile lines, it's like a tiny bit uh, creasing, but like really not as much as other ones. And even in like my major, oh, that's pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Yeah, I would set under my eyes. Because I always set under my eyes anyway. But I want to see how this would do on its own, but it's kind of gone around my nose, but that's normal as always. So yeah, my final thoughts, it's great. You just need to set it if you have oily skin. But yeah, I can see how this got really good reviews. Oh, like, I feel like that should be, that's it. That was my review. That's it. I like it. Mom and Tudoyo. And the fact that you have like all, well, the whole customization thing, I don't really think makes that much of a difference to be honest with you. Um, if it were me, I'd just say go ahead and um, flip the sponge over and just use it that way. If you have better skin than me, then maybe just, you know, do the whole spatula thing. But, or just use it as like a regular, just like you would any other sponge, um, any other cushion, I mean. One thing I did find a little annoying was that I'm so used to just taking the puff out and like flipping it open, but this is one of those ones that you have to twist and then open. Um, but that's just something I feel like I need to get used to, but I think it's great for like sani sanitary purposes. Germ, yeah, sanitary purposes. So that's good. Oh, and sorry about the background. It looks, I'm like fixing my room right now and I'm changing everything, so um, it's not gonna look like this the whole time, so yeah. Anyway, that is my review. If you're interested in purchasing the cushion, I, it will be, blah, 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 it will be linked down below. And make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram if you wanna see what's happening on in my life outside of this space. Catch me live on Africa TV and also check out Beauty Beast where we have lots of fun there. And I'll see you guys in my next video.